What is up guys, thank you for watching JG Tech Vlog. For today's video, we have the ZTE Blade Z Max. This is the newest phone that just came out from Metro PCS. And honestly, there's been so much hype about this phone. Uh, a lot of people have got their hands on it so far and been making videos and saying this is one of the best phones that's been out there. Let me put it to the test. I'm going to see if this is actually worth it. If it was an upgrade from the ZTE Z Max Pro that they previously had, that was $99. And if it does compare to the Stylo 3. So let's go ahead without further ado and go and do the unboxing and first impression of these phones. The future videos which is comparisons to the other models down below and the full review. So make sure to be subscribed so you can be notified when those videos are up. Alright without further ado let's go ahead and open this phone and see what comes in the box first of all. So there it is the ZTE Blade Z Max. I'm always surprised to be honest with you guys how people like this phone. This is huge and it's uh, at the end of the day it's everybody's preference. A 6 inch full high definition display is honestly too much for me. Uh, but there's people that love this. So let's go ahead and see what's inside the box itself. So you have this packet right here. And it comes in with, this is the ZTE Type-C cable. Uh, again, this is one of the only phones at Metro PCS right now that takes a USB-C model, not the normal micro USB. Also, it's, it's telling you right here that do not use the adapter that goes from micro USB to Type-C because that could damage your phone. And also, whenever you plug in the USB-C cable that you see here into the phone, make sure there's no debris inside so it doesn't overheat and burn the phone. So, you have the booklet right here. Metro PCS SIM card, the USB-C cable, and the best thing about all of this is that it also has a fast charging capability adapter. This right here will charge your battery very fast, and I'll also put this to the test and upload a video about it. And last but not least, you have the SIM slot ejector. All right, so that's what comes in the box. Let's go ahead and turn on the phone. And while it's turning on, by the way, there's something on here, the bezel itself, so you can differentiate between the volume and the power uh, button. They actually, let me see if I can zoom in and you can see this. The bezel is it has a little rugged texture on top, so you can tell the difference between the volume and the power button. This is a six inch full high definition display. It is 16 megapixels in the back and another two megapixel a dual camera and I'll talk more about this inside when and show you the differences what this actually does you have the flash you have the fingerprint sensor let me take this off so you can see the texture that's in the back of the phone the previous model which is the DTE Z Max Pro didn't have this texture on the back it was just all smooth uh, this actually is much preferable so that when you hold the phone because it's so big it, when you hold it it gives you a little bit more of a grip so you don't drop it, drop this phone because you do not honestly do not want to drop this phone if it drops and it breaks the screen I had a lot of people coming into me with that problem a lot of people were breaking the screen so this is very important that you put a case on top of it as well you have the fingerprint sensor in the back as well. I heard that this is also much faster. I will give this a test compared to the Z Max Pro. You're running a 1.4 gigahertz octa-core processor. It's 32 gigabytes of ROM, two gigabytes of RAM. It's an eight megapixel front facing camera. That's very good. And by the way, like the previous models, this is a non-removable battery and they've actually advanced the battery on this model. This one is a 4080 milliamp battery. So hopefully it's gonna last much longer than the previous model and it has a fast charging capability. As well, I gotta mention something. The previous model actually had a little lump in the back of the phone itself. And it was kind of a little bit bigger, and it was a little bit bigger than this model. This one is straight, as you can see here. It has a smooth backing to it, and it's a little bit lighter than the previous model, which is, I'm surprised, because now it has a bigger battery inside. All right, looking at the right-hand side, you have the power button and the volume rocker. Looking at the bottom, of the phone you have the USB-C uh, port and you have the headphone jack as well on the left hand side you have the SIM slot and a micro USB slot so you can put more external storage at the top you have the 8 megapixel camera and the proximity sensor down at the bottom you have the home button the recent and the back buttons all right so let's go ahead and so we can see the screen a little bit more brightly let me take this off and it's um, setting it up right now and it's telling me to add a fingerprint so let's see how well you can set up that fingerprint so let's press next and let's go ahead and start okay fingerprint added 
That's it. So while the phone is off, I'm going to go ahead and press on the fingerprint sensor in the back and see how fast it gets into the phone. There you go. That's how fast it is. Let's do that one more time. So off, on. Very fast, very, very responsive. So that's amazing compared to the Z Max Pro. That's already one thing that I love. It's much faster fingerprint sensor than the previous model. Looking at the, at the screen, honestly, it is amazing. For some reason, this reminds me of the Note 5 screen because it's so clear. Let's go ahead and see if I can change the wallpapers on here so you can see it a little bit more bright. This amazing display makes the videos and movies that you watch on here extra crispy with real colors. So let's go ahead and check out the software on the phone. It's 7.1.1 Nougat. That comes in stock on the phone. So it doesn't have too much of those extra blotware that's on the phone. And what that helps does is it makes it very fast. It doesn't give you those extra things that you don't really need and they just clog up the phone for no reason. Looking at the storage, it has 32 gigabytes of internal memory, but 10 gigabytes were used up for the, for the software that's on the phone. So you have 32 gigabytes left on the phone. Let's go ahead and check out the camera. This is one of the best things about the ZTE Blade is because it has a dual camera and it has a manual mode. So it allows you to edit the pictures the way you want. And it also has a lot of new filters added to the camera. Let's go ahead and take a picture. Let's first of all see how the zoom is. There it is. You see very responsive, very fast. And that's the two camera, dual cameras that are in the back. That's the amazing work of it. And let's go ahead and see the shutter speed, how fast that is. There's a slight delay. Actually, not even. Yeah, other than that, let me see how clear it is. Yeah, you see that? There was a little delay right there. It does kind of get grainy as you can see here a little bit, uh, but I will also try some pictures outside and see the difference. Let's go ahead and try the front facing camera now. And you also have beauty mode. You could increase it or decrease it as you like. And let's try the video as well. Very responsive. A megapixels, not bad. Let's go ahead and now check out the audio quality. Now, I don't want to get any copyright, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on one of my videos. So this is the Moto E4 that just came out from Metro. Let's go ahead and raise the volume a little bit. Oh, the speakers are down at the How's bottom. How's everybody? Thank you for watching JG Tech Blog. For today's video, we're Very going to clear. unboxing of the Moto E4. Very clear. That is not bad at all. You see how clear that video is? That is amazing. That is amazing. Uh, this phone is going for 129 So, so far, I'm already in love with this phone. Not bad at all. And another thing that I do recommend a lot of people were saying this was, wasn't much of an upgrade from the Z Max Pro. It actually is. The major difference that I've seen is, first of all, the design of it is a little bit more slimmer. It's a little bit lighter in weight. It has this amazing grip that's in the back that allows you to hold on to the phone. It has the dual camera, the faster fingerprint sensor in the back, the bigger battery, and not to mention the fast charging capability. All right, there you guys have it. If you have any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. If you think you're gonna get this phone, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.